We don't play the social game. We are social. Power 98.5. Hi, this is Dan Aykroyd. He's progressive. He's beautiful. He's thoughtful. He's intelligent. He's powerful. He's positive. He is Stephen Quoco on Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. Empowering listeners from the US to the UK. Live on air with Stephen Quoco. Uh, we're not using that for Allie. Let's get something different. <laughs> yeah, I want the, yeah. Do we have it? Okay, yeah, let's get this one. Do the Smoky Lounge. There we go. <laughs> you guys were already, no, we use that music. I like switching out my music from time to time. We use that. We just had um, Nazim. MMA professional fighter Nazim. Uh, he was on nine o'clock this morning. We've got the sensational music artist Ali Taylor. And then 12 p.m., an hour from now, 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, we've got my good friend Dan Link from Discovery Channel's Naked and Afraid XL. He's a legend on Naked and Afraid and uh, was just on Discovery Channel's hit show. Last one standing. It was him and Waz Addy back to back. They had to light three fires. Waz did it in a nick of time. I cannot wait to ask Dan, what the heck was he doing? Because all I had was watching the editing and they kept making it look like and having him that he was gathering wood when wood was already there. But Waz nailed it a hundred thousand dollar winner. He told his wife when he left the airport, he said she was crying. He promised his wife and his two daughters he was going to win, and he won. So I gave him a call last night. We're supposed to be on a call later on today. I got to get him on the show. I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm so happy for him that he won, but I'm still shocked that Dan was fumbling around with wood. And I need to know why it took him so long to get the fire. Now, I'm not saying I was hoping Dan was going to win over Waz. It just is incredible from what I've seen. Like, man, if I need a fire started, I'm having Waz, Waz make the bonfire, roast marshmallows, whatever it is it may be. Waz is going to take care of the fire all the time. Uh, any questions, sharing the love and support, whether you're listening to us on the iOS or Android app or on the website, go ahead and click the bottom right hand icon, the messenger, and you can share with us your thoughts, comments. If you want to submit anything into power 90, 98.5, you can go ahead and email us at power 98.5 radio at gmail.com, or you can email us at contact at power 985.com. Beautiful day. It's gorgeous. I'm looking forward to summer ending. It was 116 degrees yesterday. I do not and will not go out in this weather. It's not so much the heat per se, it's the sun. And let me tell you, that Las Vegas, Nevada, that sun, woo-wee. But I, I was just in Texas a little bit ago. They have the same heat. It was 106 when I was out there, 106 with humidity. It was like Florida weather. Now, you all know that I'm from New Jersey. Like, I can handle humidity. I can handle that type of weather. But this is like tropical weather. And I don't know if you would think or consider Texas having tropical-like weather the way Florida is, but the humidity is very different from the New Jersey, New York area. And when you add in 106, 111, 113 degrees in Texas on top of humidity, why anyone would live there is beyond me. I would not. No, 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 no to Texas because of the weather. Um, it's feeling great today. Thanks, guys. It really is. It's it was a great morning. And did you see the comments? Uh. Uh, from my interview this morning with Nazim. It's incredible. These people are loving it, loving it. And what they're loving even more is the video that was posted. Did you guys see this? The video of Allie Taylor. Oh my God, she looks so stunning. It's on Power 98.5 Instagram page. 
that is uh, Power uh, nine, uh, 98.5 Radio. Why am I having a brain fart about my own Instagram page? <laughs> We're going to go to it. Hold on for a moment. Why not? You know what I'm saying? But you can also go to Stephen Cuoco, S-T-E-V-E-N-C-U-O-C-O Instagram page as well. And my public relations firm page, United Angels Dream. Yes, it's Power 98.5 Radio. You know what it is with all of these social media outlets. Um, We can't always have that I've seen the same username. Sometimes you have to change it up. So, yeah. Power 98.5 Radio. Ali's video is there. We're going to post and share another video. We definitely want to. She's got some great content. I want to get that on the Instagram page. Uh, Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, video. Love it. Let's head on over there now, shall we? We got any more comments? Yeah, they're just rolling in. Did you check the DMs? I know they're loving her. It's great. Ms. Allie Taylor, welcome to the show. Hailing from originally, you're originally from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, my neighbor. I'm a, as you know, I'm from New Jersey. We both know John Davis. Big shout out to John, who's known us both since we were babies. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, uh, John, for in, for introducing us, and thank you for having me on the show, Steve, and I appreciate it. Absolutely, and thank you for being patient. Um, I'm loving this. You, you, we've, we've got the studio line officially open. We have um, everything worked out. You know, if anyone wants to do a call-in, you can go ahead and call into the line. If you want to share any love, support, I don't mind. Our... Uh, Call in line is 646-969-3365. Once again, 646-969-3365. You can also send us a message. So once again, use that messenger, that bottom icon, that icon in the bottom right-hand corner, whether you're on the iOS or Android app and on a website, many great things that you can do there. Um, It's the best thing for satellite radio and i love it to stay up to date with the our fans our listeners the, our music artists use it um, and if you have any questions or want to share the love or anything for ali go ahead and send us a message uh bring them our way <laughs> bring bring them all in and also if you're listening to us on odyssey apple music or even alexa we are just 200 countries and counting. Yes, just. Uh, Allie, this is exciting. I mean, perfect timing for you to be here. I know. I'm so excited to be here talking with you. Um, And it's funny. Hold on for a moment. Did we lose Allie? All right. Hold on, we're calling her back. Where is she? How did we lose her? Uh oh, Allie, I'm gonna need you to call back. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna let's give her a call. Uh oh, where's Allie? Shoot. Uh oh, does she even know that she's not on? Go ahead and play some music. There we go. Let's get to see if we can get her back on. There we go. Allie? Hello? Hello? I think it broke up there. Yes, I have no idea what happened. So we filled in with a little bit of music. Oh, I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Man. Technology. No, this is all good. Listen, no one no one needs to know that everything's not perfect anymore, right? Yeah, true. (laughs) Um, yeah, what were you bring us like start back over. Where were you at again? Do you remember? Um, 
what uh, I don't even know what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just saying that I was excited to to be here talking with you. You know, uh-huh. it's, I I've heard so many great things from John and even from Gary Wayne. Uh, and yeah, I'm just excited to to have be on the show. And I appreciate you for having me. Absolutely. And Gary shared a comment on Instagram and I said, yeah, let's hop on a call sometime and, and connect. And, uh, how's he doing? How, how were you after our conversation last night? I was good. I had a paper full of notes, full of, uh, just some advice that we were, uh, that you had mentioned on the phone call and yeah, it was really helpful. You know, it's kind of a weird time in the industry, so it's definitely nice to get all of just different advice that could be helpful because especially being an independent artist, you know, I'm doing it all by myself. So is Gary. So we're figuring it out as we go. Uh, And so it's just nice to, to get advice from people who are in the industry as well and, and who are further ahead of us and can maybe tell us like, Hey, maybe avoid this, maybe do this, switch this up. It's just nice to get that advice because again, we're just doing it all by ourselves. So. And you're doing a great job. And, and you know, from what I said to you last night and, uh, oh, Sarah, thank you. Thank you for the shout out. Sarah joined us today from Utah. We got a lot of new listeners from Utah. Uh, thank you for the love and support. And yes, we have Ms. Allie Taylor. She's a music artist and you're also a music writer as well. Yep. Songwriter as well. Songwriter. Thank you. Is it, is it songwriter or music writer or it is, it's, is it different or is it the same? I mean, I think it's kind of the same. I, cause when you are writing a song, you're also having the melody along with it, at least in Nashville, like we co-write a lot. And so we'll all just create the, the melody, the lyrics all kind of comes together. It was stated here that you originally got your musical wings uh, from performing in local theater. You found the love for country music playing shows locally in Lancaster. Um, You had quoted, I remember booking myself a local show that was Mm -hmm. in a barn and the whole crowd was Amish. I put my speaker (laughs) on, on, um, on a bale of hay and sang and sang them in our set of country music. Okay, so I'm very familiar with Pennsylvania, very familiar with the Amish. My parents who adopted me are German and Pennsylvania Dutch. Pennsylvania Dutch, you might as well just say they're Amish. I'm very familiar with this. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I've <laughs> got to ask, the Amish people, for the most part, which surprises me, is... Um, I, is it secular? They're not really in, they don't have T it's true. They don't have TVs. They don't have a lot of modern things. How did you pull this mm-hmm. off? Cause this is different. I, I mean, I wasn't even expecting it. I just, cause you know, when, when you're booking a gig as a artist or when someone reaches out to you, all you're kind of concerned about is, you know, is, is it a tent? Like, will I be able to hook up my equipment? I, I wasn't really asking like, who's going to be in the crowd. And so I just, especially at that stage, cause I was just taking any show I could to put my name out there. Um, and so it was, all they said was it was a tent. I'd be able to hook up my equipment and just prepare like an hour, an hour and a half of songs. And so, yeah, I showed up and it was a very country scene. <laughs> But it was really cool. I mean, I've had multiple gigs where where it's just been a crowd where there's like even coffee shops, like they'll go into coffee shops and, and just hang out like the young kids will. Is it everything that people see in the movies? <laughs> no, <laughs> I've had a lot of people ask me about uh, remember that show Amish Mafia? Yes, yes. <laughs> I've had a lot of people. I think they they ask about the Amish if it's like that and. And I'm like, no, that's, I don't think it's anything like that. (laughs) Um, yeah, I mean, so there, I'm going through the accolades. I mean, it's, it's so impressive. You're 29, you look 22, both you and Gary (laughs) still look extremely young. It's, it's incredible. You guys are, are a powerhouse in the industry. Um, I, I didn't know this, but you, you and Gary just really work so well together. Are there plans for you to have more uh, EPs or singles together? Where are you venturing, you know, now moving forward? And if anything, from what 
uh, hopefully inspired you from our conversation last night. What's the mm-hmm. next plan for you within the next month or for the rest of the summer going into fall? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, the fall time's kind of our time to shine. We we like to put out, uh, I like to say that, that Allison Krauss, uh, Jewel, like I, I like to have it country, but also singer songwriter. And so some of our music kind of borders that Americana singer songwriter country style. And so we, we have some releases coming up. One of them is called ain't nobody love me like you do. And that's going to be for the fall time. And I'm really excited about that one. And then we have one called on the rocks and that one's a little more, a little more rock in country pop kind of thing. So so yeah, I'm excited to to release some of those. I mean, we're independent, like I said, so it's, you know, we don't have a manager, a label, PR, like we're just doing it all ourselves. So for right now, we're just focusing on like content, on finishing up those recordings and, and just putting out some good music for, for everybody. Um, because when you're doing everything yourself, it's just a lot of work and, and we work full time too on top of it. So we're really just hustling. We're really just... <laughs> wanting to put out uh, those two singles and really make it great releases and then put all of our attention into those. Are you, I, I know we had a, a private discussion and to any music artist or anyone who's listening, because a lot of times, you know, we never know what could help someone else uh, from our experience, uh, from, from things that we're learning in a business. Do you feel that you or you and Gary, like where, what are your thoughts about management or PR or representation? Do you feel that you need it now? Or do you believe that you're doing just fine on your own? Is it starting to become overwhelming because you're working a full-time job and you're, you're being a, you know, a creative, you're, you're writing songs, you're creating, you know, music and songs for yourself and for other people. I always say when it comes to music artists that, to have one foot in the office and the other foot in the studio does not work. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah. What type of advice can you share? And, and where, how are you planning on moving forward to either stay in this position or are you planning on venturing mm-hmm. out and, and expanding your empire? Yeah, I mean, the goal definitely is to work on music full time, but the reality is, unless someone takes a, unless someone sees the work that we've done all by ourselves and decides to put their faith in us and believe in us, we're on our own. You're on your own kid. You know, like we're, we have to, to do it ourselves. And that's pretty much what we're doing. Like we, we love this dream and we would love to have a manager who believes in us and, um, and wants to, you know, is, is as passionate about our projects as we are. And that's the ultimate goal to have, you know, either a label or publishing that believes in us and can really grow with us on this journey. But for right now, like, I know it's not ideal having one foot in the office and one in the music world, but it's either having, you know, both feet in the office or, or just having one in each. And for right now, like the reality is we're just, we have to hustle. And so I'm working nine to five and then I work on my music full time after that, or even during the day, sometimes like right now, it's my lunch break. <laughs> and, and yeah, you got to do what you got to do to make your dream happen. And, you know, there, there's a reality. And I know, you know, this, that there's a reality about this industry where, you know, behind the scenes, it's not all it seems like you have to, if you are truly doing it by yourself and starting from the ground up, it's, going to look different. You're, you're going to have to have that job that you, you work to fund your, your dream, you know, and, and to not give up that hope and that love that you have for, for music. And that's ultimately where, where Gary and I are at, you know, we have each other and and we've done some really great things like showed me love has over a million streams across all platforms. We got featured on CMT. Um, We're going to be on a show starting September 19th, it's going to be airing. So we're just making moves and and hustling. And I would love for someone who's just as passionate as we are to come along and to really believe in us and join the ride. (laughs) But for now, you know, got to, got to hustle ourselves. You moved into Nashville in 2014. Do you 
feel and believe that that's been the best move you've ever made coming from Lancaster PA? And do you believe that people in the music industry, that anyone that's in music, whether you're writing songs or, or all the above, you know, someone as seasoned as you or up and coming, is Nashville the place to be? I would say so. I, I definitely think it's based on your personality. And for me, I went to New York City, I went to California, and it was almost like there was a consensus that for me as a person, <laughs> for my personality, I would fit best in Nashville. And being here, I agree. You know, it's, it's, it has more of a small town feel, but also big city at the same time. And I, that to me, it just feels you can build more of a community. It feels like it's not as spread out. It's a little more, like I said, small town, big city feel. And that to me just felt perfect because, you know, I, I love writing with promising people. I love writing with hit writers, but I also love writing with people who come to town with a dream and, and they're really talented. And my favorite moments are where I'm out at a round and I hear just some unknown artists with like 400 followers and they have amazing music and I, and we get to collaborate together. And I just love that you can get all of that here. I feel like it's very up and coming and country music is only growing, it seems to me. And so, yeah, I just love that, that mixture. I feel like that fits me. And I know like you only can, obviously you're under an NDA. The new show is coming out. What can you share? Can you share the name of the show? Can you share a little bit about what you're doing or, or is it just, mm -hmm. what can you share with us? So yeah, for right now, <laughs> I can't share too much, unfortunately, but it's going to be coming out really soon. September. All I can say is the air date is September 19th. So you can Get online, do your research for that. And uh, the network is Fox. So that's all I can say. I can't say too many details. That's kind of all that's been given to us. But, but yeah, I'm really excited about that. You can also follow, for those, those of you listening, you can follow my social media um, at Allie Taylor Music, A-L-I Taylor Music. And I'll be keeping updates and posting on there uh, about the upcoming show. I can't wait. And honestly, I definitely want to have a conversation with you, you know, off when we're out of the live and, um, you know, after this interview, uh, you know, anytime, cause you know, I've been doing PR for over 30 years. And if there's any way that I can be of assistance to you, um, and with this project, this is, that's my world. You know, I've been doing this for a long time yeah. and it's, I, I can't wait to <laughs> find out more. And I know you're television ready and man, this could be, this could be it. Who knows? I mean, people who go on the voice or American idol, um, it's not the begin all to make all it, it really is what you do with the afterwards. But honestly, I, I can honestly tell you, especially with the entertainment industry, you know, with between SAG and what's happening right now, um, you, anyone that's in reality TV or competition television series or anything like that, um, you guys are still in a realm to where, you know, you're not SAG, but you still have the freedom to, to do the press, to do the media and all of that. And I really hope and believe and, and keep it in positive thoughts and prayer for you that the timing is, is perfect, which I believe it is. And that no mm -hmm. matter what's happening in the entertainment industry, that you're still going to be able to make, if I can say, make bank on allowing this opportunity to really work for you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm, ex I'm excited. I, I think that, you know, ultimately too, it was our first uh, television experience. So for me, it was great to kind of just know what it's like behind the scenes and, and to get to work with the producers. It, it was just a really great experience and yeah, I hope to do it again, but, um, for now, I'm just excited. I got that experience and I'm excited to see, to see what it looks like. I haven't seen the, I haven't seen any footage yet. So I'm excited to, to just see what it's going to look like. And you, you have no idea how many episodes you're uh, going to be on, right? Um, so I don't even know if I could talk about how many episodes or anything like that. Um, I would say I'm stay sure. away from <laughs> I, Yeah, I would, it, it, with knowing most of the network 
contracts. Uh, usually what it is is they don't want you to talk about production, um, mm. how it was filmed, all of that. Uh, is it? Yeah. Let me ask you this. Is it in the news yet? Has it been publicized? So there's been an official announcement and that's about it. Like the official air date has been announced. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> so the official air date and the name of the show has been announced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On what platform? Do you know? Um, so the network is Fox. So I'm assuming on there. <laughs> Are you able to give the name? No, I, can't, I, I don't think I could. Okay, so let I don't me, want to get in trouble either because I, yeah, I don't, I have yet to see any of the other cast members like say anything. So okay, I don't so want to be the first. <laughs> here's, what, here's what I'm going to do new Fox lineup. I'm just going to see 2023. So here we go. Um, da, 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 da. No, are you are you going to try to pull it out of me? No, no, I'm looking online. I'm seeing if Fox oh, has okay. <laughs> spilt the beans. Yeah, no, I ain't going to put you like that. Um, I was like, no. New lineup, debut. Da, da, da. All right, Fox Fall TV Shows 2023. This was seven days ago. No, 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 I'm smarter than that. I research, remember, I'm <laughs> PR, research everything. I'm just going to see if what they have of a list here. Um, if there's anything that's music-like. They're showing canceled Nudes Fox TV shows, High Surf, Doc, Crimsburg, Snake Oil. Never heard any of that stuff before. I'm just looking anything music-related. Uh, celebrity named that tune. Um, I, all right, so it's got to be this. All right, so here's the lineup I'm going to use. Use my wit on this. It's not college football. Uh, we've got <laughs> Hell's Kitchen. I wish. That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got Snake Oil. So it's got to be uh, Fox Fall TV 2023 Tuesday night schedule. Celebrity Name That Tune Season 4 or I Can See Your Voice Season 3. So uh, between Tuesday, Monday is Kitchen Nightmares, Special Forces, and then we've got Hell's Kitchen, Lego Masters, WWE, College Football, and his symptoms. Sim symptoms. <laughs> Simpsons. <laughs> so out of all of these, the only one it can be is I Can See Your Voice Season 3. So let me copy. Let me get back into If I... I can't say anything. If I no, get in trouble, I'm no, telling no, them no, to no, call no. you. Nope, 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 nope. You're not saying nothing. No, I, I know their contracts very well. I've I've uh, worked with some people from Fox. Um, so it's right here. So Ali didn't say anything, but I'm just going to say here because it is in the news. Let me pull it up, and I'm going to. So it's um, it's been published on popculture.com. Uh. I Can See Your Voice, Season 3, Fate Revealed at Fox. This was published on May 16th. So just to go into this, I'm not saying this is what Ali is on, but I'm saying that this is the only thing coming up on Fox. It's, it was published on popculture.com. And I'm just looking through it here. And honestly, I'm surprised they have Season 3 because I usually cover NBC The Voice. I have never covered this show before, and this is the only show of the music lineup for Fox for Fall. So how exciting, but pay attention to the articles. Um, I'm sure that when um, you find out, Ali, I know the network will give you guys all the green thumbs up of what you can share on your socials, everything else like that. Uh, being that from what Fox is stating, and just to go back here is I'm assuming even though they dropped the gun on this, um, this is looking to air on premiere September 19th, 2023. And where I gathered that was from the Fox lineup. How exciting. Either way, you're going to be on television. Um, don't forget, I will just cover some other stuff. Fox Fall TV shows. Just to highlight Fox because of how they highlighted you and saw the greatness in you. Monday is going to be Kitchen Nightmares at 8 p.m. Season 8. We got Celebrity Name That Tune on Tuesday. 
um, at 8 p.m. And then I Can See Your Voice is Tuesday at 9. And then on Wednesday, The Mass Singer. I'm surprised that show's still going on. And then I have I no- like that show. Do you? <laughs> Do you? Yeah, it's funny. Well, they have they have good singers too. They have they had that um oh, I'm forgetting her name, but that singer from Glee, she has like an amazing voice and then okay. they had Tori Kelly. They had some really they have really good singers on there. I'm going to tell you this. Thank God you weren't on the mass singer because there's no way I would want your face and your head and your beautiful hair covered up in some hairy poly Esther, whatever the heck of how they put, you don't belong in a mask. So I'm so glad that you're not being masked. <laughs> it's, supposed, but it's fun though. It's like is a it? fun thing, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what I'll do is when, all right. So season 10 is coming back up. I will give it a shot. Um, and I will give it a shot and I'll just leave it as that. And then once I <laughs> give it a shot and watch it, and really do my best, Allie, to uh, get engaged with it. I will see how I feel. But I've I've dismissed watching that show for so long because I'm so used to the voice and shows like that mm-hmm. to where, I don't know. I, I, you know what I feel like? I, I'm going to be honest. And I'm not taking away and, I, and I'm trusting your, your thoughts and feelings about it. I feel like I'm watching an episode of Chuck E. Cheese with people singing. You know Chuck well, E. Some, Cheese, listen. right? Yes, no, I do. <laughs> I love Chuck E. Cheese. Here's the thing. Not everything. Life is very intense. It's very serious. Sometimes it is fun to put a mask on and sing some Whitney Houston. Okay. I'm not I'm not opposed to that, you know? <laughs> you have to, like, if you want something more intense, then yeah, you know, there's The Voice, there's American Idol, America's Got Talent. If you want something fun that you watch with your, your family, your kids, you laugh. And, and have a good time, then I would say there's a realm for that as well. And, and that's probably Mass Singer, you know? I appreciate you opening my eyes and my mind to that. Honestly, um, amazing people like you that come into my life have <laughs> turned me on to show. Seriously, I have watched uh, Ted Lasso. I was never planning on watching that show. I was on a plane uh, heading to um, Houston, and a woman who's in PR that I ended up meeting on a plane, she spoke so highly of it two days after I got back home. I remember that there wasn't really anything interesting. I thought, all right, I'm going to take her suggestion. I'm going to watch Ted Lasso. Now I consider Ted Lasso to be the number one show in my opinion, for 2023. However, I dismissed it. I was not going to watch it. If it wasn't for a recommendation, I watched it. And like I said, now it's my favorite show. What uh, What is another one? Mm-hmm. Um, Naked and Afraid. I was never going to watch that show. I had no desire to watch that show. I, I, I didn't see the point in watching it. My best friend who I've known for four, 46 years, she, her boyfriend was actually the one that turned her onto the show. Then we just started binge watching it one day after we had a barbecue and I fell in love with the show, the XL version, not the regular, but the XL. And then I ended up <laughs> interviewing Dan and Waz and Matt Wright. And I was like, holy crow. So with that being said, why I'm sharing that is because someone like you who could say, Stephen, just just consider, just open your mind to it. Turns out to mm-hmm. where I end up falling in love. So if that happens with the mass singer, you're gonna receive all the praise for me adding to Fox's ratings to increase and boosting their revenue and everything else. Yeah. Thanks to you. Like I said, there's a place, there's a place for all of it. You know, we that's why we have shows like Black Mirror. But then we have friends and, you know, we have a, an array of different things. And it's, it's for that reason, you know. Speaking of Apple TV so, and all these other shows, do you have Apple TV? And have you been watching um, The Crowded Room with, um, oh, my God. Well, what's his face? Oh, I cannot believe I'm having a brain. What is going on today? A lot going on. <laughs> um, the kid from... 
Uh, Spider-Man, not Tobey Maguire. Oh, my God. He's dating Zendaya. Oh, yes. I don't know what his name is. Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Yeah, it's with Tom Holland. Incredible show. Is this and- the Spider-Man? Yeah, so I he hear played. What you said. Yeah, he was one. Of, he played one of the Spider Men. Yes, Tom Holland. It the show on Apple TV is called The Crowded Room. It is incredible, and it's got actress Amanda Seyfried in it. And she and I don't know if you know this, Amanda Seyfried's from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Oh, I did not know that. Yes, I do. I liked her in Mamma Mia, though, and I think Anne and Mean Girls, of course. So mm-hmm. I'll have to watch that. Yeah, she's yeah, she's from Allentown. And she still goes back. I heard that she still has a place there. Well, and we also have Taylor Swift from Why I'm Missing. So PA doing pretty good. <laughs> He's doing really good. Um, so new show, new music, tours. What's happening with tours? Uh, any openings, headlining, anything at all this year? Or do you have plans on maybe making that happen in the fall? Yeah, I mean... For right now, uh, our goal is to just dive right back into writing because we also write music for for other artists. Um, And so our our goal for the fall is to just kind of dive right into songwriting and release those two songs and and release a lot of content. Um, But, I mean, we did open up for Martin McDaniel at Lori's Roadhouse, and we had a blast. So I would love to – we're working on going back to Lori's Roadhouse in um cincinnati and doing that again and uh yeah we're just we're kind of booking those as we go because for right now we've mainly been you can only do so much at one time as an independent artist um so any booking agents out there hook me up (laughs) reach out to me but uh but yeah our goal for right now is just kind of focusing since the show is going to be coming out making sure that we have our releases set up and making sure that that we have content ready um, and songwriting, of course. Would you consider continuing in, in television after your recent experience? Is it something that you you're inspired by now? Absolutely. Yeah. I had a blast. I mean, that was my first experience ever. And the producers were just, I mean, they took me under their wing and really helped me. I mean, television's intense. <laughs> I don't think people understand that, that it's, it is live. Like in the moment you, you have to, if, if you have a bad take, like singing wise, they'll keep it as that, you know, like they want you to do well, but like it is live. And so, um, it's very intense process. And I, I just feel very fortunate that the producers took me under their wing, really, you know, trained me and helped me to, to give a great performance and, and now that I've gone through that, I definitely feel like I could, I could do the voice, or, you know, I could do maybe another show. Yeah, absolutely. And I encourage you to, you know, I said to you, I believe um, yesterday, if memory serves me correctly, you're television ready. You've, you've got all the bells and whistles, your fashion's on point, your look, Thank you. you're, you're very classy. You're welcome. You're, you're sophisticated and, um, whether you and Gary are both um, on the project together or if you end up on your own on the project together, I know you're going to do exceptionally well every time. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Those are great compliments. I mean, you know, yeah, we're, I would love that now that I kind of got through that process and, and now that I know what to expect, you know, I, I feel like I could definitely go on, one of these other shows and, and it would just be a really great experience. And I had a lot of fun, so I would love to do it again. One show. And I'm being very serious when I say this, Allie is I would love to see you on big brother. I've been casting to be on that show since 2010. I will continue to do so. Um, I, I, I think you should, I think you should get that show a shot. You would be perfect for that. Um, to, I would. Yes, yes, I truly believe that. <laughs> I mean, why not? You're personable. I get, yeah. You're empathic. You're intuitive. You are inspiring. And what a great yeah. way. Like, I don't recall them having anyone in the last several years, uh, a, a music artist, if not a music artist, at your level on that show. 
I mean, hey, tell them to hit me up. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Well, when I know they're casting again, I think um, I, I can send you the link because I'll be casting again for next season. Actually, what I'm going to do is let me get back here on Google. I think it's Big Brother 25 because I didn't hear anything. Big Brother 2023. Let's see here. Did they finish casting? All right, it says it will have a delayed start um, later this summer in August in a move that will be reenacting. Yeah, because uh, this is going to be Big Brother 25. It says return summer 2023 on CBS. Well, I didn't get a call from any casting director or producer, so I'm assuming I didn't make it this year. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I can keep you posted on that. Yeah. I'm, I'm open to that. Like I said, I had so much fun that, you know, I was, I feel like I was scared before, but now that I went through it now, I'm like any show mm -hmm. <laughs> hook, hook me up. Cause it was so much fun. I would love it. Here we go. The big brother 25th season is to premiere on August 2nd. And, uh, let's see, do they, where you can apply. They actually had where you can apply in person but you can also apply online. I'm just going to honestly say to where if the casting's still open, I can actually send you the link. Let's see. Online applications. Sometimes they'll sh still show that they're taking it even if they're not. But um, I think it's Big Brother. Ca yep, here you go. It's pulling up. BigBrotherCasting.tv. Um are you ready for, yeah, still showing that you can cast. Oh, all right. Bigbrothercasting.tv. It says you can apply now. I would assume, though, if with this coming out August 2nd, that they already have a lineup. But um, what yeah. I'm going to do is, this is what I'm going to do, Allie, is I'm going to go ahead, just so you have it, uh, Big Brother. Yeah, because we as PR people can't, they won't allow us to submit for people anymore. They want you guys mm. to do it and and to submit it from in your own words of uh, of what the questions that they're asking and everything else. So Big Brother, Big Brother Casting dot TV. Just food for thought, or if or you know, you can always give it like let Gary yeah. know too. There you go. I just texted yeah, it. Absolutely. All right. Great, um, got it. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you for being with us today. Um, it's It's been an absolute treasure to have this conversation with you and getting to know you and someone where, you ha where we have a deep connection knowing, um, you know, John and uh, knowing that, mm -hmm. uh, awesome. you know, he's been part of our lives and our family since we were born is just incredible. Yeah, no, he's an awesome person. And I mean, you know, music, he's a great musician as well. So I think very blessed to have known him and to know him still and have him as an influence in my life. Have you gone to his in-home studio? I have not recently, but like a few years ago. And it's pretty impressive. Isn't it? <laughs> it's beautiful. He is so yeah. proud of it, man. It looks like a, a million, literally a million dollar studio. I know it's like stone and everything. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember I was downstairs in there and he was showing me how everything worked and we had dinner. It, it, it was beautiful like that. I hope he never sells it. And if he ever does, um, I'll buy it from him. I'll, I'll, I'll get the cash. I'll get it. For, I'll buy it from him. Cause I mean, just to have that studio alone and, and, uh, mm -hmm. have people in the music industry be like, Hey, coming out, I've got a guest room, put a guest house out there or whatever. But yeah, I'm mm -hmm. very proud yeah, of Yeah. And the land the land with the deer like it just looks beautiful it is it's a drive though it is <laughs> it is a drive but most people who have home studios especially studios like that they're not near a city yeah no neighbors <laughs> no neighbors who would you like to give a shout out to i mean i guess uh my mom and dad if they're listening i love y'all uh john davis i love you too um I guess Gary, Gary, love ya. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, and just all the people that I, I told to tune in, um, if they're listening, love you guys. Thanks for supporting me. And and thank you, Stephen, for, for having me on here. Truly, I appreciate it. Absolutely. And I appreciate you connecting. And, and it was really touching and a really great experience of when you contacted me. And I'm glad yeah. this worked out for both of us. And all great things, Ms. Allie Taylor. You can head on over to her Instagram at Allie Taylor Music. And mm -hmm. your, is your TikTok the same handle as well? Allie Taylor mm -hmm. Music? Yep. All right. Yes. All Facebook, things. TikTok, all that. Allie Taylor Music, A L I T A Y L O R M U S I C. Allie Taylor Music. Any other closing thoughts? Anything else you want to talk about or share real quick before we head on with our day? Um, just that, you know, I have upcoming music coming out, upcoming projects, and, you know, definitely make sure that, you know, you get on your phone, give me a follow on TikTok, Facebook, Spotify. Um, again, Allie Taylor. So, you know, make sure you get on there to keep up with me. Cause like I said, I'm independent. Gary Wayne is independent and we're just out here hustling. And I feel like we're doing a great job making moves, but you know, it's, it makes it a lot easier to have people support us on this journey. So make sure you do that. Cause we'd love to have you follow along. Absolutely. Thanks again, Allie. <laughs> just hang on the line. We'll have a quick chat and, um, I appreciate you being on the show today. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Remember, all great things, Ali Taylor, Ali Taylor Music, TikTok, Instagram, head on over, support, give a, give a love, shout out, follow, comment. You're going to love, love it all. Um, if you want to see the latest uh, video that was just shared, uh, you know, with Ali, head on over to Power 98.5 Satellite Radio Instagram page at Power 98. Point five radio. You can also head on over to my Instagram page, Stephen Cuoco, and my PR public relations firm page, United Angels Dream. All great things, Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. Make sure you download the iOS um, or Android app. You can tune on, on Alexa, add Power 98.5 in your Alexa skill. We are available on Apple Music, Odyssey, Live Radio FM, MyTuner, Streama, and more. And once again, start at home first, power985.com. We have Mr. Dan Link from Naked and Afraid XL and the newest hit show from Discovery, Last One Standing. It was Waz Addy, Dan Link, last night, the last two competing to win 100 thousand dollars you're going to find out all about that and more in 10 minutes 12 p.m pacific 3 p.m eastern mr dan link can't wait excited take a break stay on listen to some great music we just added new music to the station and we'll be back in 10 minutes have a great day everyone Us on your socials and let's connect.